Hi, this is Joseph with Go Engineer. Today I'm going to share with you a user video on the use of the J55 3D printer from Stratasys. We're going to talk about removing parts from the build tray after they're printed. To do that, you'll need your scraper. When they're finished, go ahead and just open the door, rotate the parts into place where they're easy to get at, and you can lock the, the wheel so it's easier to scrape them off. It doesn't just push them out of your way. Then just slide the scraper underneath to remove the parts, set them aside, unlock it, rotate around to where you can get at things, make sure it's locked down, and again just slide the scraper gently underneath. You might need to reposition a few times. You don't really want to pry it up. Uh, if it's a delicate part that could possibly break the part. You just want to slide the scraper underneath until it releases its a hold on the part. This long part I laid out that way so I could get a long scrape underneath then come at it from the side, remove that, and then the last one, rotate it into place, and you're just kind of cutting it out from the, the print bed there. All right, once that's done, then you need your razor scraper, and you're just scraping up the little layer of model material that it puts down to give it a good foundation. That's what that razor's for. And if you feel the need, you can lock it down again for this. I usually find it's not a big deal. Uh, I don't have to push so hard. Just give that a good scrape. All right, and then once all that's done, just kind of collect all the other little bits. Remove these and you can go ahead and throw them away. Um, and then part of the routine cleaning, which you will run after removing parts, will include cleaning the build tray and even underneath and around it. Go ahead and find that video to go through the cleaning. Thanks so much.